July 28th, the world against God's people. The dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation 12, verse 17. Our people have been regarded as too insignificant to be worthy of notice. But a change will come. The Christian world is now making movements which will necessarily bring commandment-keeping people into prominence. The whole world is to be stirred with enmity against Seventh-day Adventists because they will not yield homage to the papacy by honoring Sunday, the institution of this anti-Christian power. It is the purpose of Satan to cause them to be blotted from the earth, in order that his supremacy of the world may be not disputed. Every position of truth taken by our people will bear the criticism of the greatest minds. The highest of the world's great men will be brought in contact with truth, and therefore every position we take should be critically examined and tested by the scriptures. Now we seem to be unnoticed, but this will not always be. Movements are at work to bring us to the front, and if our theories of truth can be picked to pieces by historians or the world's greatest men, it will be done. We must individually know for ourselves what is truth and be prepared to give a reason of the hope that we have with meekness and fear, not in a proud, boasting self-sufficiency, but with the Spirit of Christ. We are nearing the time when we shall stand individually alone to answer for our belief. We shall be attacked on every point. We shall be tried to the utmost. We do not want to hold our faith simply because it was handed down to us by our fathers. Such a faith will not stand the terrible test that is before us. We want to know why we are Seventh-day Adventists, what real reason we have for coming out from the world as a separate and distinct people. The powers of darkness will open their batteries upon us, and all who are indifferent and careless, who have set their affections on their earthly treasure, and who have not cared to understand God's dealings with His people, will be ready victims. No power but a knowledge of the truth, as it is in Jesus, will ever make us steadfast, but with this one may chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight. Said my accompanying angel, Time is almost finished. Do you reflect the lovely image of Jesus, as you should? Then I was pointed to the earth and saw that there would have to be a getting ready among those who have of late embraced the third angel's message. Said the angel, Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ye will have to die a greater death to the world than ye have ever yet died. I saw that there was a great work to do for them, and but little time to do it in. I saw that some of us have had time to get the truth and to advance step by step, and every step we have taken has given us strength to take the next. But now time is almost finished, and what we have been years learning, they will have to learn in a few months. And they will have to unlearn much and learn again. And those who will not receive the mark of the beast and his image, when the decree goes forth, must have decision now to say, Nay, we will not regard the institution of the beast a sketch of the Christian experience and views of Ellen G. White, page 52 to 55.